<laughs> Hello. Right, today's video, I'm doing one of my awaited chip shop reviews. They've been highly requested all around the world. I've got to carry on with them. I've done two so far. I've done Kobo and Lele. So in the in this video, I'm going to go down to the Rohays, and that's the place I'm going to be reviewing today. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a bag of fish and chips. I'm going to bring it home. It's about 10 minutes away. And I'm going to show you me opening them up. I'll give you some good shots of the food. I'm going to rate it out of 10. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm getting a lot of people asking me, especially visitors, where's the best, where's the best fish and chips in the island? Well, I'm going to give an honest review. If they're absolutely crap, I'm going to say they're crap. And if they're brilliant, I'm going to say they're brilliant. Doesn't matter. I'm not connected to any fish and chip shop. No one's sponsoring me. I'm doing this to help people. So, Roe's, I hope they're good. Let's go. Thank you. Right, let's unwrap these fish and chips. So, let's see. So, I ordered fish and chips. So, this was £8.40. Okay, I'll show you. Got here. So, chips looking pretty. So I'm going to give an honest review of this one, the chips. Yeah. Um, fish. No, oh, I have to see this. So I'm doing it. So I'm going to mark it one uh, out of ten. One being absolutely disgusting and ten being really good. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you some close-ups of this. Let's see what you think. So, I've done reviews at the Kobo and Lele. So, this is obviously the Rohays. Chips. I'll be honest. Mm, okay, right. So we've got the fish here. So, very greasy. Look at the greasy man's. I know it's meant to be a little bit greasy, but is it? Now look. So remember, mark it out of 10 at home. Don't just break it at all. Let's see. So, fish. See it. Uh. Hmm. Batters. That's a very not that crispy fish yeah see mm. So it's eight pound forty, 
and yeah that butter's not that great really so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a bit more and mark it out of 10 Remember, let me know at home what you think it is. Um, and, don't know. I'll have a think. And I'll be back, at, back in a minute. Okay. So, this was a Roe's, uh, Roe's chippy. Um, I'm not blown away by it, to be honest with you. It's, the chips are okay, very dry, very dry chips. Um, the batter's, the batter, I mean, I don't mind a bit of grease, but it's actually swimming in grease, you can see my hands. Batter was soggy. The fish inside is okay. The fish itself was okay. But, um, all in all, chips, uh, yeah. I'm going to give it a, a four out of ten. Um, not that impressed, really. Chips seem dry as hell. Fish, it's basically just seems like it's been left and just cooked there forever. Don't know. It was okay if you're drunk at the end of the night and you don't really care what you're eating. I've had a lot better. This is nowhere near as good as so far. I think Kobo and Lele outdone this massively. Chips and the fish. Yeah, not that great, unfortunately, Roe's. It's a shame I wanted it to be nice. But, um, yeah, a bit disappointing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit disappointed about that because I thought it was going to be nice. But, yeah, just not that great. Um, I'm going to carry on these reviews. So I've done three so far. Uh, remember, if you want to see more reviews on Guernsey food, you can um, subscribe or like this video. Remember, this channel isn't all about food, but I'm going to do some of these because I think a lot of people are asking, especially visitors, where's the best place to go to eat? And I'll just give you an honest answer. So, so far, Kobo and uh, Lele are up there so far. This is the third one I've done. So we'll see. Anyway, Shane, see you next time.